Hello aspirants, welcome you all. Let us discuss one number system based problem. How many zeros are there at the end of the following product? So this is very important question. If you go through the previous question paper, you can able to find out the questions related to this topic. UPSC 2020, there was a question with respect to this concept. So please be very careful with this concept. So how to find out the number of zeros in the given product? The simple logic is try to express the a given product in terms of 2 into 5. Then check the powers of 2 and check the powers of 5. Then pick. So first of all express the term with respect to 2 into 5. Check the powers of 2 into 5. The third step is take the minimum power minimum power among 2 and 5 so that is going to be the number of zeros present in the given expression if you understand these steps you can able to find out the number of zeros for any problem so let us see a solution for this one so here listen carefully 5 this 10 can be expressed as 2 into 5. 15 can be expressed as 3 into 5. Then 25 can be expressed as 5 into 5. Then this 55 can be expressed as 11 into 5. Then 85 can be expressed as 17 into 5. Then 105 can be expressed as 5 into 21 but listen carefully this 21 cannot be expressed in terms of 5 into 2 therefore just leave it okay don't waste your time after finding out this 45 can be expressed as 5 into 9 this 100 can be expressed as 4 into 25 that 4 can be expressed as 2 into 2 that 25 can be expressed as 5 into 5 then this 150 can be expressed as 15 into 10 that 15 can be expressed as 3 into 5 that 10 can be expressed as 5 into 2 then 200 can be expressed as 2 into 100 that 100 can be expressed as 4 into 25 that 4 can be expressed as 2 into 2 25 can be expressed as 5 into 5 so now you have expressed everything with respect of giving you a factor as 2 and 5. Now check the powers of 2. 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So into check with the powers of 5. If you add the powers of 5, then you are getting 14 here. Now what is the last step to find out the number of zeros? Just Take the minimum power among them. So minimum power is 7. Therefore the number of zeros is going to be 7. Therefore answer for this question is option B 7. Hope you all understood this logic. Thank you all. Have a good day.